Tonight only on News 5, we're getting a look at the first of its kind study conducted right here in Cleveland that's proving there is a way to improve safety on our streets while saving you money. Once they turn 18, are they going back to a life of crime? It's a question that's been unanswered until now. So this is the first time we've actually had access to the data. That data showing what happens to children who complete a juvenile justice diversion program. Instead of locking them up, uh, these diversion programs are providing treatment. Jeff Kretschmar, a researcher at Case Western Reserve University. For, them, for most of them who complete successfully, they avoid the adult system. Tells me their findings prove a majority of participants do not fall back into old habits. We found that youth who did not complete the program were 60% more likely to have an adult charge, an early adult charge, than kids who did complete the program successfully. Certain subsets of our juvenile population are forgotten. Sharina Cloud with Cleveland Peacemakers Alliance. Well, they may have just given up some small hope there. Wants to see more troubled youth in Cleveland have access to diversion programs to break the cycle of crime. The, the money is always an issue, it's always gonna be an issue, but hopefully as we invest in our human capital, they will continue to see that as a very strong investment in our future. It's already less than what it would cost to incarcerate these children, according to Kretschmar. So not only do the kids and families receive significant benefits in terms of their mental health, substance use, trauma, symptom reductions, but uh, this is significant savings to the taxpayers as well. That savings now shown to carry over into adulthood. If we have more of these programs, more kids going through and completing successfully, the adult jail population would see a benefit from that. Kretschmar tells me that should prompt counties and states to take stock in these youth programs. How can you help support these juvenile programs since they're going to be reducing your jail populations in the future? Since releasing their findings, the staff at the Begun Center have heard from a number of counties and states asking for information on how to replicate the success of the diversion program that they studied here in Ohio. By the way, that program is in Dayton.